everyone, this is Joseph and today we have a lesson of Pitina Roy or Nandroid protein basically a very small Nandroid because after all it is smaller than the usual Nandroid uh, yeah they don't have a lot of parts with them their hands don't really move their legs don't really move but they are much cuter than the normal Nandroid I would say uh, I'm making this uh, video because uh, I would like to show you guys what I mean by this cheerful Miku is too overkill for a Nandroid Pucci a mini Nandroid because uh, from my previous review you will have noticed that I mentioned about this Nandroid bin to detail and the paint job is just amazing for a Nandroid of his class and yeah I would say it is pretty amazing so you will notice immediately that uh, this is one whole carton of it and I actually got it cheaply in one of the anime festival and of course uh, which also means that I didn't got it when it came up but it's always better to be late than never isn't it so I will expect to have a ultra of this that is pictured in the front cover to be present in the box and if you actually know how to count you'll find that you, you are only looking at 11 of them so there are 12 of them mm. let's go and find out what's the number 11 if you know how to read Japanese you will find that uh, hey yeah that's a hint isn't it so I'm going to just open up the big box uh, but anyway before I do it uh, I will just show you guys the how does the huge box huge cotton box looks like on its sides here and in front and another side of it and also at the back of it there's like nothing below because uh, yeah nobody's gonna look at it from below and you will notice that uh, it had all these dotted line and actually they are meant to facilitate shops who sell these cartons loosely because uh, you can actually tear this box along the doctor line and, it be and open this guy up and it will become a rather nice box to display in your storefront which uh, I will briefly show you how it will look like once I got this off yeah so voila so in the shops you will probably be looking at it like something like this yeah something like this uh, let me move back a little yeah something like this in the shops yeah those are the other netroids in the corner so I will say let us open them one by one mm. so the small boxes itself are yeah have a little Miku standing out 
sending up protruding from the box and you find that the side of the box will show you all 12 different kinds of net droid that you will get from the box hmm? so that's all 12 of them interesting so yeah back to the small box a lot of different information at the back which we are not usually interested in and there's about nothing at the bottom so let's open this let's just open this box and see what's inside This box I got Miko, which I will be opening it up later. In this box, let's see what we have. Look, there's a flap over here. I guess it's a QR code which I can obtain some downloadable content or view a web page with it. Uh, I might take a look later and do a video on it. But um, for now, we will concentrate on the net rights. So this is ring another version of ring so we have another version of ring oh so two versions of rings are out now I am supposed to get all 12 different types if I buy a whole carton so I get a normal land Yeah, it's actually Luca in her kimono. So Kaito Maluka
Normal Hasume Miku Special land. And we are down to the last three of them. Yeah, the last of them. So I'm gonna just pick this one to open first. And Special Miku. This one of the special Miku. The white color special Miku. Is the black special Miku? Yeah, now we are down to the last one, the last box. And which one haven't came out yet? I guess it's is. This Miku with an apple. This is actually the yeah, the Miku with the apple with a uh, with a uh, pink and rather sexy sleepwear, I guess, and also comes with a pillow. So yeah, I'm going to clear the table for a while. And come back later. You have the deep sea Miku, the crystal Miku, Miku Lisa Taru. Uh, this is actually the servant of evil ring. Uh, so he can be considered evil land, Mominji Luka, normal ring, Romeo and Cinderella Miku, normal Miku, evil ring, normal land, normal Luka, and of course Kaito hiding behind. So if you scan through the bunch of them, you will notice immediately that um, yeah, they are quite well made, especially the Deep Sea Miku and the Crystal Miku. In fact, I will actually ignore every other pieces just to get these two. But, um, it's not as if the other are not important, but well, in my opinion, these two Mikos are actually the nicest of the bunch. Of course, not forgetting Mominji Luka with her overflowing hair. And so that's the trial of them. But having said that, I'm going to just put the cheerful Miku in front and you will immediately see that um, hey is a bit overpowering isn't it uh, you see this is a 
PT network that I got for free uh, but these are the networks that I paid for and comparing the quality between the between them I will say I will say if not for this Deep Sea Miku and Crystal Miku uh, the cheerful Miku will have overshadowed the whole lot of them I would say of course I will stress that um, it's not that these pieces are these other characters are bad it's not it's just that these three special pieces are just exceptionally better than the others like take for example normal Luca if you look at normal Luca is there anything special about her? well she's golden I mean yeah lights are reflecting all over her you know and see my camera got difficulty trying to make out a white balance <laughs> yeah because uh, that's because she's she's very shiny I mean even her hairband is very gold see it's golden in color so golden that my camera is flickering already and land he's a normal land but look at the details that is uh, engraved into his headphones and look at the details of his tie no, his tie and his pants these are not printed I can assure you these are actually texture so it's not a simply simple matter of just painting over it no way these are actually texture and Eva, Eva Ring ah, her dress her dress is exceptional even her bow tie is very detailed normal Miku well she's got everything this is a network petite Niku Miku but she got everything a normal size Miku has up all the way up to her her mic and of course the texture of her dress and tie everything is carefully replicated all the, all the way up to her headphones um, this Miko with an apple Romeo and Cinderella what can I say? Look at the apple. Look at her. I would say pajamas. Uh, I don't think you can. I don't think it will cost too little. I would say I will pay a certain sum for this kind of workmanship actually. And not to mention the uh, Momijin Luka. See? A perfect flowing hair which is up to her legs, uh, up to her feet. And normal ring, her bow tie, her big ribbon up there, her bow tie even her belt everything is carefully sculptured it is not printed I can assure you even the LEDs on her arm they are not printed they are molded in 
before color are added. Miko, uh, what can I say? Uh, two piece is a uh, very shiny, like it should be. Yeah, it's very shiny. It's Miko. One look, and you will know that all the quality that's needed are there. And I already mentioned Eva Len with his uh, coat and everything carefully texturized even up to his all the details of the coat the pockets are carefully texturized all the small details and not to mention Deep Sea Miku her hair those bubbles in there and the happy crystal Miku get her hair you will normally see this kind of quality in a very expensive network like the snow Miku but you are seeing it in a petite network the quality is exception that is why the this set of PT network doesn't cost is not very cheap I would say but I believe that I have paid I have made my money worth I, I guess they are good they are they look better in real life than in the preview photograph that GSC has provided so yeah they are good what can I say more this is Joseph with a set of Hasume Miku selection mini netroid or PT netroids or netroids whatever you want to call them this is Joseph signing off